You know when you're just craving something new, this cigar hits that spot. I wouldn't say I love it, and I wouldn't say I hate it. Welcome back to Highline Prestige, this is the Mikola Fienda No. 2, by the Gomez Sanchez family. I was checking out my friend's cigar shop when I stumbled upon this unique presentation. I thought at first maybe the wood case was a cigar mold, but I could be wrong. Side note, we rocking the Zira Calligraph 3 today. If you're interested in the watch comment down below and we'll get a video going on that. I was quite surprised to see this was a Mikolev cigar, I've smoked a couple in the past and have liked them, the ones I've smoked always had a beautiful slow burn and nice white ash that I could appreciate. But it has been a few years since I have smoked Mikolev cigars, so I truly didn't know what to expect. The Gomez Sanchez family has been in the tobacco business for three generations, and was started in Cuba by Pedro F. Gomez in 1934. Throughout the years just about everyone in the family, has joined the cigar business. Today, the three generations use their family traditions and heritage to craft every single Mikolev cigar. The Leyenda is a perfect example of the quality we have come to expect from the Mikolev brand. Rated 92 by Cigar Aficionado, this handmade comes filled to the brim with a tri-country blend of Nicaraguan, Dominican, and Honduran long fillers, all aged 5 years pre-roll, a Nicaraguan binder, and an impressive 5-year aged Ecuadorian Habano wrapper leaf. After rolling, the finished handmade Figurado, is left to rest for about a year. Toast the foot and you'll find a rustic and Cuban-esque profile of naturally sweet tobacco notes, black pepper, and a rich dark chocolate accents. But the black pepper tends to linger a little bit longer than expected, as soon as you get towards the middle of the cigar, you get touches of cedar with some vanilla creaminess and a roasted almond-like nuttiness. I would say this cigar is a perfect introduction to a medium to full body experience. It's not overpowering in any way, and offers a beautiful oily burn, a session IPA pairs perfectly. After knocking the ash off I was blown away by how even the burn has been, most the time after the ash falls or once knocked off, there's never really such a perfect line burn. I sadly had to let it go out, due to the shop getting busy. But then when I went back to light the cigar, it wasn't the greatest burn but the lovely flavors were still there. All in all, the Leyenda has given me that surprised unique experience I was hoping to get out of a cigar. If you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you've tried this cigar and what you thought. Also, tell me what you want to see next. Thanks for watching, cheers everybody.